Hello, 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 hello. How's it going, man? How's it going? Oh, man. Is my microphone working? My microphone's working. Let me just turn down this music wee bit. There we are. Good shit. I need to fucking drink my bottle of Pepsi, man. I literally just be got like I've just like done it in like a hundred like a fucking good wee session there. So like I'm kind of like. <sighs> but then I was wanting I was wanting to stream because I got uh, organized this little thing uh, for tonight, which is basically me reacting to a bunch of game trailers that are not going to be E3. I had the idea earlier when I was editing, and I was like, oh fuck, when you do that. Um, so that is the plan for like the first like half an hour. Uh, good you uh, drinking the best fizzy drink. Pepsi? Yeah. <laughs> I love my Pepsi, man. Pepsi's good shit. Pepsi is good shit, but how are you doing, Chad? How's it going? How's your day been? I'm going to be getting into, like, injection uh, a little bit later. Probably in, like, half an hour or something. Maybe. Yeah, probably in half an hour. Uh, whenever I'm finished reacting to all these game trailers, I'll jump right in, because I've got injection loaded up there, and everything's going well. Everything's going fucking fun dabby doozy. So... Uh, let me just share my stream on the Discord, and then that's all I need to do, because I've already shared it. Yay! Yeah, sorry, I was gonna, I said it was going to be five minutes, and then I noticed that when I had my um, preview screen, uh, it's, it, it, like, it didn't show like my recent followers and top donors and shit like that, so I was like, what the fuck? So like, I had to spend like an extra five minutes remembering how the fuck to do that. So it was kind of was kind of retarded, but it's all right, man. It's all right. We are here now. We're doing shit, and uh, we're gonna be doing stuff uh, at everyone. Boy, yeah, boy, boy, boy. Right. Uh, I love how like, this is the time where people want to like mess our message and mean shit. Every time. Every time, it's literally every time I start streaming, they were like, "Hey, do you want to play a game?" I'm like, yeah, "I'm kind of busy. Kind of busy at the moment. It's Friday night." Of course I'm going to be fucking streaming. Right, uh, let's get into the first trailer then. Fuck it, like, may as well, if people start jumping in, then fair enough. But I'm going to be uploading this to YouTube anyway, so, um, they can watch it there if they haven't. Hey, dear drunkard. Hey, Nicholas, how's it going? Yeah, drunkard podcast coming back next week. Should be fun. Uh, I think we're aiming for, like, Wednesday or something. Um, but yeah, we'll get a day out for that fucking this weekend, probably. Get a narrow down. That's going to be more fun, man. Uh, so what games we know won't be E3? Um, well, when I say won't be E3, I mean like not going to be on a press conference. So like these are going to be trailers uh, that I found came out in the last day or like they have the tag E3 trailer on them. Uh, meaning that it's coming around around this time period but it's not going to be like at any show. So no one's really going to be seeing it. So yeah, I'm going to be reacting to a bunch of them. One trailer I've already seen. But... Uh, but I want to watch it again because it's such a good trailer. <laughs> it's such a fun trailer. Uh, how have I been? Yeah, I've been doing good. Uh, I've just been really fucking busy, to be honest. That's why I like, haven't really been putting out videos this week. Next week is going to be like busy Kieran, but it's going to be YouTube busy Kieran as an E3. It's going to be fucking good shit, man. It's going to be a fucking filled with videos. It's going to be good. Um, but yeah, that week I was just finishing wrapping up college stuff, so... Yes! But hello, guys! How's it going? Uh, I'm sure like, more people turn up during the day, but let's load up the first trailer of the night. Boom. Actually, is that too big? Is that is like my uh, is my thing too big? I'll make it a little smaller. I'll make it like the there we are. Uh, I didn't even notice that when I was setting that up. But uh, is the thing there we are. So the first trailer of today. Let me just turn off the music because uh, I'm very hyped for this trailer. This is uh, this is a game that I was not expecting uh, today. I was not expecting to hear about this, but you know. I heard about this, and it happened. Uh, so basically there's this game, uh, when I was growing up, by the way, sorry about the IGN logo, they like to plaster their shit on fucking everything, even though they don't own the trailer, but okay. Um, <clears throat> but there was this game growing up called uh, Destroy All Humans uh, that I fucking loved, I had for the PlayStation 2. And it was so much fun, it was so much fun. Uh, but nothing really happened to it, like they had like a Wii game come out, called like Big Willies something. Uh, but yeah. Can't wait for Baldur's Gate 3. Yeah, I was actually going to have a trailer for that. Oh, I don't even have the Darksiders trailer. Um, Yeah, I've not seen the Darksiders trailer. I don't have that lined up, though. I've got like 10 trailers downloaded, but that's not one of them. But yeah, Destroy All Humans, let's react to it. Let's react to it again. Uh, I don't know how loud it's going to be for you guys, but I'm going to see. Uh, fucking my 
of the phone. <laughs> it's gonna be good shit, man. <laughs> I fucking love this. Just a Rammstein comes out of nowhere, man. Eek, me. Me, if you guys don't listen to that sort of music, man, I feel sorry, man. It's good shit. It's good shit. Did it. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> Oh man. Look how good this trailer looks. Fuck it out. Like I said before, I've seen this trailer, but I just want to watch it again. Look at it. So if you guys don't know, this is actually a remake of the first game by like THQ Nordic themselves, which is going to be fucking awesome. You have the Merc! <laughs> oh man. <clears throat> That's just fucking insanity. I love it because like he starts this mad fucking riot, right? And then he just kills everyone. I can't even remember the main alien's name. I think he dies at the end of the first game, and then he's like cloned in the second one. Oh. Oh wait, is it? I don't know, I remember the main alien guy just gets blown to fucking smithereens. Oh. <laughs> See? He just starts this massive fucking party in the middle of the street. And then just- Oh, never mind, the guy is still lodged in that cow's anus. Right. But yeah, that was- uh, Do you notice- Do you notice that they say PC down at the bottom there? That's all they say, they only say PC. They don't show like Epic Game Store or Steam or anything. So, that's kind of making me think. I don't know about that one. But, um, but yeah, that game looks fucking fun, man. I'm so excited for that game. Oh, man. This is beautiful. The game, look at it. It, look, it looks so good. Oh, man. We're coming out in 2020. I was hoping for this year. Uh, but apparently not. But yeah, let's load up the next trailer. Since, uh, in all these other trailers, I've not seen. So, yeah. But uh, this next one is Ukulele in the Impossible Lair. Now, this is a reveal trailer for the second Ukulele game. Uh, does that is that loaded up? Yeah, it is. Uh, and it's like, ah, man. I played like a little bit of it, uh, the first game, and I enjoyed it. But I just never gotten around to like getting it. I was going to get it on my Switch. It was going to be a Switch game for me. Uh, and I just never really got around to like actually getting it and then beating it. But I love fucking the 3D platformers, man. I'm glad they're like making a comeback. Because, you know, Banjo-Kazooie is no happening, so... Is that you looking up the bloody lyrics there, Shattled? <laughs> I just seen a bunch of German. I'm like, ah, right, okay. Uh, man. But yeah, let's get into Ukulele and the Impossible Lair. This is a first time watching all these trailers, so yeah, let's get into it. Okay. That looks so much like the rare logo, fuck. <laughs> oh, that's true, that goes, fuck. So much filled, so filled with so much joy. Oh! Ray, it's 2D. It's like a 2D platform in there. Ray, okay. Why the change? Is this like just a spin off game and that's why they just want to do it? Explore a 3D overworld. That's interesting. I'm, I'm digging it. I like it. Filled with puzzles and challenges. Now, this is a Switch game, man. This is a good Switch game I can get. Yeah, Team 17 were uh, the publishers of Worms. They were also going to publish that Alice in Road. Like, a long time ago. But that game's like... Mate, it looks fun. I like this. I like that. This, this game's giving me good feels, man. Look at this shit. I don't mind that it's 2D. Like, a 2D sort of platformer thing. Although, I would have liked... I think I would have preferred the 3D platformer. But, oh well, I, I would still take this. This, take, this is fucking, this is cool, man. I like this. <laughs> this looks so nice. See, the thing is, like, when I first got uh, my Xbox One, there was not many games I could really play on it, except for this one uh, I got with Games of Gold. And that was, like, Max something? Max Lost Brother or something? I don't know. It was, like, this fun 3D 
uh, no, no, not 3D, a uh, 2D platformer game. And that was one I, like, beat to completion, and I re- thoroughly enjoyed it. It was so good. It, I was surprised that I found it so good. Uh, we need another Worms, get, uh, Worms game this year? Yeah, we do. Sorry, I think, uh, I think my thing is, like... Yeah, there we are. I just noticed, like, the, the text and the logo on the right-hand side there was kind of, like, lingering enough. But yeah, I enjoyed that trailer. That trailer's fun. That, this, this game's giving me, like, good vibes, man. I like this shit. <laughs> do hast. Do hast meek. I love this game. Is that, uh, Murica? Salmon Max? Um, is it Salmon Max? No, I don't think it. Uh, is it? It could be. No, it's not Salmon No, Salmon Max is that fucking Telltale game. No, it's not that. Uh, is two seconds. I'll Google it. Yeah, Max: The Curse of Brotherhood. That that's the game. That that was a fun fucking game, man. You should you should definitely like uh, check that. No, it's not um Sam and Max. So fuck that. Well, not fuck that. I've never played those games, but is the best. Don't at me. <laughs> right. Next trailer. I thoroughly enjoyed Ukulele. That was fun. I liked it. I might pick it up. I might pick this one up. Um, didn't have a release date on it. Did it? Uh, let's see. Did I have a release date? Nah, but it's coming out for Switch and all that. And there's no Epic Game Store logo, so that's good. But I feel like this is one of the games that are going to be fucking Epic Game Store exclusive, uh, exclusive, man. I can feel it. I can feel that shit. Anyway, next game. Uh, do you know what? This is actually an oldie, but it's getting a PC version, right? Uh, and I've not actually ever played this game or ever looked at it, but I've heard of it. Uh, so I'm going to be watching it. So, Journey. Never played Journey. Never seen Journey. Apparently it was 10 out of 10, one of the best games ever made. This trailer has to prove to me how, why it is. Santa Monica Studio. That game company. Some fucking dusky, dusty cunt. There we go. Oh. <laughs> is it one of those like... Ah, I was about to say arty games. <laughs> It feels like an art game. I bet it's like you just walk around in fucking silence, don't you? Is it? Please tell me, did I get that correct? Where you just walk around and there's like complete silence? Oh, there's two people. Is this game co op? Or is that just like a side companion person? Hmm. Yes, I get it. It was game of the year. I understand. Oh, what the fuck's this? Journey. Uh, I like the look of that. Experience it. Now available on PC. Hmm. I would need to check that out then, because I've never... Oh, never mind. I'm not checking it out. Look what that says right there. Epic Game Store exclusive. Ah. Yes, I'm not checking it out then. I'll, get, I'll check it out on the PlayStation. Yeah, I'll see how much it is in the PlayStation, but I'm not checking that out. But yeah, that game looks uh, funky. I've never actually properly seen a trailer or a gameplay on it before. It's uh, quite interesting. I think it's the walk around art game. Ray, right. Only on the Epic Game Store. Oh man, I'm not even fucking looking forward to that PC gamer show, man. Because apparently it's sponsored by Epic, so everything there is going to be an Epic exclusive. It's going to be so bad. But yeah. Journey. Journey was okay. Like, I wasn't really blown away by the trailer, really, because, like, it, these are, like, more uh, show-off trailers, if you get what I mean. They're just, like, they're trying to show off. They're like, ah, we were game of the year, and they, like, plaster a bunch of reviews and shit like that on the screen instead of showing me the game. But they did show me the game. Uh, but, yeah, it was alright. <laughs> it was, like, like, I'm not really too interested in it. Um, but, yeah. Oh, well. Uh, what was the next game I had there? Oh, the next game! Right, this is a game covered on the channel. Uh, it's called Kings of Lauren, The Fall of Ibris. Uh, if you guys have heard of that one, I covered it on my a new survival horror series. And they had a trailer coming out for E3. And I was going to wait and show it, uh, like, I don't know, fucking, uh, like a live stream before E3. So this one, technically. Uh, but a more, like, official E3 one. But yeah, let's watch this one. I'm, I'm curious what this is going to be. It's like three minutes long, so... Let's fucking check that shit out, boys. Right. Never heard of it. 
It's basically a, it's like a Skyrim esque survival horror game. If you you should go and watch my video on it, by the way, Sharon. It's fucking cool. It's really cool. I love the world of it. Aesthetically, it looks fucking pleasing. And I like the developers. The developers are quite cool guys as well. Ooh. I like how they're showing off like all the different weapons. Like this is like a weird staff thing. What the fuck? There was like two different different uh, types of staff there. That one was red, and the other one was like yellowish. Look at that man. That looks. That looks cool. I like that. Oh, this is when the. So basically the story of the game is like the king goes evil and he spawns in all this shit. Uh, I never heard of that one Nicholas, so we need to check that out. Man, the monsters in this game look fucking beastly man, look at this shit. It's weird how the staff like fires like a gun as well. Maybe Hexen? Oh man, look at this game! Hello. Let's take that as an evil king, man. It's a lot of fucking dragons. What is that? <laughs> Oh, I like that trailer, man. Oh, I like that. They showed a way more, way more combat f uh, stuff in this. That was like one of my weirdest kind of complaints earlier, because it was like uh, when I was covering this game, it was like, yeah, it could like there's screenshots of like, crossbows and stuff like that, but there was not like too many weapons. I thought it was just a sword and a crossbow, but no, have you, you've seen fucking. St oh, there's more. Oh, I, I just sorry, I wasn't even paying attention. What well, released it? Released it as the uh, nine nine nineteen. What's nine again? That's fucking September, isn't it? 9th September? I'm convinced it's September. Yeah. Yeah, it's September. Oh, it's 9th of September. This is game's coming out. Fantastic. I'm going to do a video on this, actually. Fucking hell. Oh, that's cool. Uh, so this is coming out for the Steam PS4. Uh, oh, hey, TJ. How's it going, man? Uh, if it uses Unreal, I won't play it on console. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> but yeah, this game... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm definitely going to contact developers. And stuff. I want to get an interview with these guys, actually. That'd be cool. I'm going to do an interview with them. Because uh, they follow me over on Twitter. But yeah, this game looks fucking sick though, man. Like, these stats are quite cool as well. The design of like some enemies. And also the story in that as well. But like, I feel, uh, I feel sorry for the game. Do you? But look at this shit, man. It looks so cool. I wonder if it's going to be like a Dar uh, Dark Souls-esque sort of game. But constant frame drops. Fuck. Yeah, Unreal Engine's kind of outdated. Oh, never mind thinking about something else. <laughs> Alright. Well, hello, TJ man. How's it going? Thank you for coming along. Really Always appreciate you. you are the world. You are Mate. <laughs> Look at this guy. He looks like some fucking overlord kid. Uh. Alright, sorry. I, I was I'm like, just know this trailer. I do like the look of it. I do genuinely like, oh no, like, change the aspect ratio of this. Damn it, right there we are. Uh, but yeah, I really enjoyed that trailer. That was cool. Uh, like I said, like, the d Destroy All Humans sort of reaction. Um, uh, I've already seen that trailer, so that's why I was like, ah. But this one I was properly fucking hyped for. This game, oh, this game looks cool. I'm glad it's coming out in September as well, and not like waiting to like 2020 or something. But it's probably, it's most likely going to be delayed. All these sort of games always get fucking delayed. Uh, but yeah, it looks really sick. Yeah. I would need to check out that Hexen or Heretic. Two seconds, I'm gonna Google that now. Hexen or Heretic. <coughs> oh fuck, alright, okay, that game's fucking 
heretic. Game. So Hexen and Heretic. Oh man, these games look fucking sick. Haha, <laughs> that's cool. Right. Yeah. Um Load up next trailer. Fuck it. Let's go. So, the next one, what have we seen so far? Ukulele, Kings of Lorn, Journey. Alright, okay. So we've got about five more left to go. Uh, this one's much shorter, uh, shorter, shorter. It's like 30 seconds long, but it's in this multiplayer game, right? And I've seen it advertised constantly on Twitter. And I've seen a little tiny bit of it. Not too much, but let's check it out anyway. Fuck it, let's do it. It's 30 seconds long, this trailer. So it needs to, and it's a, an official launch trailer for this game called Splitgate Arena Warfare. So let's check it out. We need a multiplayer game in here somewhere, man. I like my multiplayer game, so. Right, let's go. Mate, is this like Portal? Me, oh, this is cool. Oh, it is like Portal. Right, play for free. Okay, right now. Me, that looked fuck. What? Is that portal? That was portal as he would jump through, right? Like, he was like spawning portals and shit. Let me just mute that. Wait, right, watch this. He, I'm pre he's like quick. Yeah, he did. He used portals and shit. Oh man, that's sick. It reminds me like Halo meets Quake meets Portal. That is cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna check out this game. This like this yeah, this looks fucking sick. And there's some sort of like griff ball thing. Quake 3 Arena meets Portal. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh man, that looks sick. I'm gonna do all right. I need to remi remind me to download that at the end of the stream because that looks fucking cool. And it's also free, so yeah, that's cool. I like that. I really like that. Like some of the weapon designs as well. Like this one, uh, wait, 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 it's like a rocket launcher. Yeah, that that looked like the Halo's rocket launcher. Oh man, we should fucking play this, man. Look at this shit. Me, it's portals and shit. Oh. Imagine, like, like, you cannot stay still in this game. If you're, like, sniping up this wee spot, uh, some cunt can just, like, teleport up to you. Alright, so that was Split Gate. That was cool. Uh, but, oh, this next one. This next one kind of pissing me off, right? Uh, it's called Guilt. Uh, spelled with a Y. And apparently it's a Stadia exclusive. So that's... Yeah. Why on earth you would want to make your game Stadia exclusive, you know, kind of blows my mind. Uh, but... Well, let's watch the game. Hopefully it's cool. I've seen screenshots. Oh, wait, fuck. All right, I don't have audio. Shit. Uh, do -do 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 -do. Sorry. Sorry. There we are. Just turn up the volume. Right. Let's help if I play it. Uh, press play. Ooh, I like the designs. The designs actually remind me of that um, Max game I was telling you about. Maze. Imagine if this is a survival horror game. What? That would be mental. Oh, mate, look at this game. Reminds me of like little nightmares as well. Oh, <laughs> it's liquor. Ah, oh, it's proper liquor moment. Oh man! All right, this game looks sick. I'm not gonna lie. They can like chase you through the streets and shit. This is like a 3D little nightmare, and it's, like Alan Wake esque as well. Fuck internet is going in. Uh, oh shit! Sorry about that, man. Sorry about that, Nicholas. Oh, I like the look of that game. Oh no. I like the look of it. I actually genuinely like the look of it. I think, like visually, it's cool. In in from like a horror aspect as well, it looks fucking great. But like, Stadia. 
Really? Like, really? You're really going to pull a stadia move on me, mate? You're really going to... Look at that. Look, look, look at that. Right there. What does that say? It says stadia. Who in the fucking right mind wants to put their bloody a game exclusive on stadia? That's just retarded. That's absolutely retarded. Like, see, right, from my, from my standpoint on stadia, right, it's like, you would want your game to exist for more, like, to, you know, continue on through the decades instead of just like, oh yeah, it disappears into the fucking mist. Because we've always seen what happens to online, like, online-only games, right? Where they just, they be Thanos, they Thanos now, they just psh, goes away, can't get it anymore. Unless, like, it's on a console, and, but since this is a stadia, um, it, you know, you just can't get it. You cannot physically, you cannot, like, actually own this game. Which really frustrates me. And from like a developer standpoint, it like it makes no sense why you would want to put your game on an online only platform. That's just uh, not even online only pra- platform like Steam, but like a stream only platform. Like that's just fucking retarded. It just really is. And the game looks great as well. So it's like it, it's just yeah. Like see the thing is. Like there's been days where like YouTube goes down, Snapchat goes down, Facebook goes down. What happens the days? where Stadia gets down, you know? It's not like a console where you can just play it offline, like, you can't exactly download the games, you know? Like, with Stadia, it's like, you have to only stream it. And that is just so shit. So when Stadia goes down, you cannot play this game. That's just it. So that, that, that fucking, that really sucks. That really genuinely sucks, because I honestly like the look of this game, and see if it came out on Steam, if it came out on platforms, if it came out in actual places you can play it, like, own it, this game would be great. This game would be fucking selling like hotcakes, man. But, nah. Who the fuck is gonna even, like, stream the game? You can't even stream it because you're streaming already. So you need to have, like, beast internet to, like, stream to uh, stream from Stadia, play the game while streaming it. You know? That's just, yeah. Anyway, that was my, uh, <laughs> that was my guilt rant. Let's just go on to uh, Greedfall. So, yeah, Greedfall official story trailer. I've never actually... The thing is, I watched one Greedfall trailer, and that was, like, fucking ages ago. Uh, so, uh, I don't really know what it's up to these days. I had a video planned for it, uh, so I was going to do a bunch of research that day. But, yeah, I seen a new trailer came for it, so let's go fucking check it out, boy. Let's do it. One thing brings me to you. They say the island is full of miracles. Whoa! Find a cure. Mad cunts from World of Warcraft, man. Focus presents. I promised the merchants and their prince we'd be off before the tide. I'm just uh, the prince's nephew. If all is in order, we'll nah, you look like a right nephew, right. man. Do you know, just have those kinds of like you know you're the son, like you can just tell they're the son or the nephew of a fucking lord. My son has left on a mission to heal his people. It looks like when you become evil and fable. Ah, a volcano. What a charming welcoming committee. Ah, oh, this looks cool. Mm, the new governor's cousin. I've heard stories about you. Our people have always lived in harmony with nature. Our very existence revolves around her. Yet you call the yeah. spirit that guides us demon. It is my feeling that you do not understand the consequences of such a decision. One of our frontier posts has just suffered a brutal attack. We didn't want this fight. Tell me then, what is your intended purpose? Do you renounce your gods? The spirits of your plans must be. I love the style of this game. To cast down such evils upon the people's. <laughs> Take your time to think about the consequences. It doesn't seem like your protagonist talks either. September as well! Another game is in September. Fantastic, look at that. Greedfall looks cool though. I like the look of Greedfall. Like the other trailers make it look so much better. This is obviously a story one. Uh, but it seems like your protagonist doesn't really talk. I know this is like an RPG, like an open world RPG. Um, but yeah, I'm curious. Uh, uh, Greedfall is like one of those ones like no one really cares about. But it's like everyone kind of knows about sort of. It's like it's always around, but no one cares. <laughs> so there's that. Uh, right. Anyway, let's move on. 
tweet you to, to remind her to download the game. Thank you, man. Uh, but, yeah. Alright, so we have, like, two more fucking games to watch. Uh, so, we have Baldo and then Ari and the Secret Se uh, Secret of Seasons. These ones are kind of, like, weird ones. So, let's check out this one. A powerful force has grown our realm into chaos. I like the style of this one as well. This one's dead. Kitty. ps 2 That was a father, it looks like at 12. Oh, never mind. Oh, look at this game. This game's cool. I like lighter tone stuff. You need to know the balance. I like this. Oh. And the guy has a rocket launcher. <laughs> And the secret of seasons. Nice. Uh. I'm kinda glad these games still exist, man. Pre-order today, coming early 2020. I thought I said fetus cactus. I was like, alright, okay. <laughs> that also looks cool. Oh, it's been it's been um fucking published by Modus. I've been seeing a lot though. I've been seeing that logo everywhere actually. This looks really fun, uh actually. Yeah, it does. It's one of those, like, I'm glad people are still making games like this, man. So cool. Uh, but the last one is Baldo. But I really like Ari. Ali in the Secret of the Seasons. That's my first time watching it as well, so it's cool. That's one... I can't even remember what this this was. Oh! Oh, wait, sorry, guys. I put that in full screen there. I apologize for that. Eh, I don't know, I'm not really into this one, I'll be honest. Yeah, sorry, it was like, uh, it was kind of natural for me to make the video in full screen, but uh, I forgot I was streaming. <laughs> it's just... This game looks cool, though. It looks like a... What does that remind me of? Some of these are domains via Zelda. I don't know why. There's like some aspects of it and some like designs. For some reason just remains via Zelda. That definitely remains via Zelda, man. Bipedal Cat Game of the Year. What is that? Oh, it's the tree people! I mean, I would call that me if it didn't have up your derpy face, like. Xbox jump in. I'm very excited for um, Xbox's confidence, man. I've been hearing a lot of rumours. Uh, been avoiding a lot as well. <laughs> like, uh, I want to, like, there 